There's something about the holiday season that makes me want to play certain games, specifically games I've played in the past during this time. For some reason, this time of year makes me appreciate those games even more. I like playing them because it reminds me of good times I've had. There are many games I could have added to this list. I've opened many of them on Christmas morning, which have all been pretty great games, but the ones I've included here are a little different. I didn't get any of them as Christmas presents. These few games are what I go to almost every year during the holidays. It sets the tone for the season. They make me happy, and I like that feeling. Here are a few games I like to replay at the end of every year. The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds went on sale for $30 on Black Friday just a few days after it released at Kmart. I anxiously waited for those six days to pass. When that day arrived, I went over to that Kmart with my brother and waited for the store to open. As it turned out, we were the only two people in our town who wanted that $10 discount because we were the only people in the back of the store buying it. I decided that I wasn't going to sprint through this Zelda game. I knew from the trailers that I had seen that I was going to really like it. It was the return to the top-down style of Zelda games I absolutely loved. A Link Between Worlds did not disappoint. I played it throughout the whole holiday season, finishing it sometime during the following month. It was great taking my time. I've taken this approach with almost every game I've purchased since. I'm still working on Tears of the Kingdom, though I might be taking that game a little too slowly. A few years after my initial playthrough of A Link Between Worlds, I had to go on a work trip to Mississippi in December. It went for a whole week. I took my 3DS with me, because that's what I always did, though I didn't know exactly what game I wanted to play. I started a few like Donkey Kong Country Returns and Super Metroid, but I really wasn't feeling them at the time. I saw A Link Between Worlds on my home screen and I thought it would be fun to jump back into it. It was fun, maybe even better than my first playthrough. I played it at the airport, on the flight, in my hotel rooms and on my way back home. On our flight back, right before we were going to land, the captain made an announcement that there was bad weather and there were many flights that were being cancelled and diverted because of the storm, so there was most likely going to be a delay for us when we landed. We sat on that plane for over two and a half hours on the ground. I couldn't have cared less. I had just started a new dungeon when the announcement was made. That time flew by. I could have waited even longer. I still had an hour and a half drive ahead of me to go home in the snow. I remember getting off the plane and seeing people lying all over the floor and against the walls sleeping or trying to sleep because their flights had been cancelled. I was happy I was headed home and not stuck in the airport. I continued playing A Link Between Worlds throughout the holiday season. Ever since then, I've had the urge to play it during Christmas. It's just something I like to do. It makes me happy. I like remembering these two moments. Even if I don't get all the way through the game, it's still great visiting that small world every year. Donkey Kong Country is my favorite game. It has been since I was very young. It was the first game I took seriously and wanted to beat on my own, which I did and have many times. What's strange is that I never played the two sequels, Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. I don't know why I never thought about buying or renting them, it just didn't happen. I had played through a little bit of Donkey Kong Country 2 at my cousin's house, but they lived over 3 hours away and that didn't happen very often. I can only think of one time I sat down and played it over there. That was my only interaction with it. That is, until I got this smartphone. It's the Sony Xperia Play. It made calls and did what phones do, but this one is a little different. It has a built-in controller. People used to call this the PlayStation phone. I knew I had to have it when I saw it. When I first got it, I mainly used it to play PS1 classics, but that's not all this phone can do. I discovered that it's great for old SNES games. This is where I first played Donkey Kong Country 2. It was a slog because it's a rough game. It took me quite a while, but I eventually got through it. This happened during the summer. That fall, I saw a local listing for a Super Nintendo that came with 13 games. They only wanted $40 for it. I was in the market for a new one, so I reached out and we met up. To my surprise, while looking through the box, there was an extra game in there that wasn't on the listing. That game was Donkey Kong Country 2. I mentioned it was in there and asked if he wanted me to pay a little bit more for it. He told me we were all good and I took it home and hooked it up to my TV. I went to town on those games but I didn't play Donkey Kong Country 2 right away. It wasn't until the holidays that I popped it in. I'm so glad I did, because it made the game even better. I still remember the stillness outside while it was snowing, while I progressed through the stages. This is one of my most precious memories. The game was and still is challenging, but that adds to the fun. Just like A Link Between Worlds, I like to get this game out every year around Christmas and play some of it. It's a tradition I really look forward to every year.
Back before Metroid Dread came out, I decided to play through every Metroid game before it released. I hadn't ever played one before. It was amazing, and I'd encourage everyone to do it themselves. It was great catching up on the story and then jumping right into the new release. I absolutely loved my playthrough of Dread. The controls are some of the best I've ever felt in the game. When I was nearing the end, I felt kind of bad that my journey was coming to a close. I didn't do my usual leisurely playthrough this time. I went through it way quicker than I would normally go. Once I beat it, I decided to jump right back in and start a new game. During this playthrough, I took my time and played other games while I continued on the adventure. I managed to stretch that playthrough out clear past Christmas. It was once again amazing. Christmas that year felt different, and I think this game added to it. I try not to play it during the year so I can capture some of that magic again in December. It's been fun adding this one to the tradition. There's something special about these three games. They are what some people would call boring first party titles. But I don't care, I love them, and I've had nothing but great times with each of them. They are a great way to cap off the year, and lead into a new one with my nostalgia shaken off. These games make me happy, and I like that feeling.